Hi guys, uh, it's another late night or really early morning, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, but the reason being is I procrastinated this video because I really wasn't feeling it. I was still tired. I went to HHN last night and I was just like, I don't feel like it. Like today I'm a little emotionally drained. Um, I FaceTimed my best friend Stephanie in Mississippi, finally. Um, Finally, I got to like FaceTime her, so it was really nice. I was like, kind of emotionally drained from that because I really missed her, and I felt like she's growing up and she's doing so much, and I just, I just didn't feel like doing anything. Like I even got in bed, you know, I like got all ready for bed. I was laying in bed, lights were off, and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna go to sleep now. And I did it. I got up and did my research, and now I'm making a video. So. That's been my night. It's like 1 in the morning. <laughs> um, so when you don't want to do something and procrastinate, God still finds a way. So might as well just do it now. Might as well do it whenever you should do it. <laughs> I feel like I'm the ultimate case for that. <laughs> Stop procrastinating, people. Okay, it's bad. I do it all the time. And this is, God still gets you. It doesn't matter. God's going to get you one way or another. Gonna find you, gonna get you, get you, get you, give me the one. Okay, anyway, so, um, uh, <laughs> today, let me find the verse, it's gonna be, okay, got my little marker, got my Batman marker, but the verse actually is coming from, I got a card from my church, it says, have a wonderful birthday, it's not my birthday yet, they just send them out at the beginning of every month to all the people that work in the church, um, they send them out at the beginning of the month. Um, so I said, so they sent me this and it has like a few verses in it and, um, it just has like a, oh, hope you have uh, the greatest year, you know, and they had Isaiah 40, 31, Mark 9, 23, and then Mark 11, 24. And the one that really resonated with me today is Mark 11, 24, which I didn't look these up till like an hour ago. So... Again, procrastination to, like, the max right now. Um, see, I'm going to read Mark 11, 24 first. And then I'll go back and read, I think, 22 through 25, I think it is. But, so Mark 11, 24 says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And I believe this is a great verse, especially if you're looking for a job or even a better job. If you're wanting a promotion or you're up for something at work. If you're in school, um, you know, taking tests. If you're doing anything with your life, really. Um, as long as it lines up with God's will and it is his will, then just pray about it and it's yours. Um, like currently right now with me. It's my job that I'm looking for, you know, well, career, I'll put that, I'm looking for a career, and so I'm praying about it, and, you know, I just have, like, a really good feeling about some stuff, and so I'm praying about it, and so it's asking you shall receive, pretty much, um, so I'm gonna read 22 through 25, and it says, have faith in God, Jesus answered, I tell you the truth, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart but believes that he what he says will happen it will be done for him therefore I tell you whatever you ask for in prayer believe that you receive it and it will be yours and when you stand praying if you hold anything against anyone forgive him so that your father in heaven may forgive you your sins and I believe that's a very important part that people kind of want to like drop out <laughs> is forgiving other people like um Especially in the Lord's Prayer when people are like, so we forgive our trespassers as you forgive our trespasses, you know? Um, so it's like, we have to forgive people. We can't bring anything into that and be like, oh, and just still hold grudges. You know, you gotta let stuff go and be open to it and open to a communication. You gotta keep, you can't hold anything against God or anybody. Um, and God will help you with that. That is the main thing is that you can't, it's not that, like, as humans are, like, perfect and we're good and we can just forgive people whenever. You know, that'd be great if we could do that. But God's there to help you with that. And so whenever you come before him, you have to remember that to forgive people. But you don't have to do it on your own because God knows 
we are humans. You know, he created us in his image, but um, we're not perfect. So he's always there to help us. So just remember prayer. I believe prayer is a very powerful thing. It is what connects us to God and it is what, it's how we hear him with um, reading the Bible is how we hear him as well. It's how we can talk to him. It's how he can talk to us. But I believe prayer is a real big communication factor. Um, it's really how you keep the conversation going. And so, and in in 23 it says um does not have doubt in his heart so you have to believe wholeheartedly that that is what um is going to happen and that is how god has it planned so don't have doubt in your heart forgive people and come to god with your request and if it and it's yours um just pray about it prayer is always the answer i say so yeah i hope this was a little bit of an encouragement um I am totally, like, I was procrastinating this, and I don't know why, but I'm glad I got it out. So, yeah, that's the verse uh, I wanted you guys to kind of hear, kind of resonated with me. Because I, I, I didn't have a verse at all. I think that's why I was procrastinating. I was just like, oh, I don't really have anything to say. But, of course, once I start going, it's like I can't stop. And so, I thought, I thought that was a good verse. Um, so, pray. That's really what I want to get out. Just pray about it. Um, make sure you're talking to God. Communication is always the most important thing. Okay? So I hope you guys have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. Um, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching again. Um, so yeah. Have a great one to make God bless you guys. Bye.